I have a confession. Hi friends, welcome back to this mega decluttering series. Today we are tackling cream eyeshadow. We have pot cream eyeshadow, we have liquid eyeshadow, we have high-end drugstore, matte, shimmery, satin, any cream eyeshadow you could possibly imagine, we've got it here today, and I will be selecting only the cream eyeshadows that I cannot live without. Let's begin. One of my personal favorite categories, this is cream eyeshadow. I love a cream shadow. I use them oftentimes to layer underneath powder eyeshadows to really build depth and to build a lot of color. I also like them to change the texture of the eye or give the eye a little bit more of a moist glow. Moist. So, we have lots of my favorite cream eyeshadows here. We have, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is quite a loose eyeshadow formula, which means that it's quite soft and quite wet as opposed to being like a hard cream. Uh, and they have like a beautiful luminosity running through them. Uh, I don't think I need all of these shades. Okay, we've got here Cleopatra, which is like a kind of greeny, greeny blue. Pillow Talk. Verushka, this is kind of an interesting olive green. Mona Lisa, these are not the best swatches. Hang on. It's Betty. Marie Antoinette and Norma Jean. Really beautiful kind of muted neutral tones here from Charlotte Tilbury. And my most used shades um, are the shades uh, Marie Antoinette, which is this beautiful kind of oyster tone that just seems to go with warm looks or cool looks, goes with everything. Also Mona Lisa, which is this kind of slightly burgundy, burgundy tone. I like Norma Jean, but it's kind of, it's kind of a bit not very memorable dare I say. Cleopatra, I rarely wear this color. Pillow Talk is beautiful, actually. I'm gonna keep Pillow Talk. This has like a bit of a dusty pink thing going on. Can be very neutral. And these four I will leave to someone who will love them and use them more than I do. Another absolute favorite cream eyeshadow. This time it's a drugstore product. This is the Models Prefer Foil Finish Cream Eyeshadow. I've used this in tutorials before. It's an absolute standout product. It's very inexpensive. And if you're in Australia, you should go and get this stuff. If you like your sparkly top coats, because it is highly reflective. This is like, woo! Wow, 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 wow. Let me show you another shade. Wow, wow. So this is a beautiful one just for adding on to the ball of the eyelid just above the lash line when I'm doing any look for a little bit of a, ref just some high reflect at the lash line. And I think it's really creates a very piercing eye look. I'm gonna keep that one. Let us take a look here at my Tom Ford Cream Color for Eyes collection. I love this formula. Like the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, it's quite a loose eyeshadow formula, quite a wet eyeshadow formula. Very thin, uh, quite glossy looking, and doesn't really set down very much, like the Charlotte Tilbury. And for that reason, I think these are gonna be suited to those of you who have a little bit more of a drier skin type or do not experience a lot of migration around the eye because they're not super long wearing. But the colors are gorgeous and they give you that beautiful kind of sheeny eyelid. It's very stunning. So let us take a look at some of these shades. Um, these are still available, although you often find them like this with a eyeshadow topper, which is also a beautiful product. Look, Platinum has been discontinued and mine is starting to look a little bit worse for wear, but you will have to pry this from my cold dead hands because it is one of my favorite products ever, Tom Ford Platinum. Love that guy, I'm gonna keep him. The other one that I wanna go for is Naked Bronze. So this has the Spice eyeshadow down here spice here and then you can top him with a little bit of this sparkly guy gonna keep naked bronze the kiko long lasting eyeshadows this is also quite a, a loose eyeshadow formula similar to the the charlotte tilbury and the tom ford and this product i think is still available it's a little bit more of a long lasting cream this one really sets so ideally if you are looking for something really long lasting the ColourPop 
uh, cream eyeshadows I had really high hopes for, but these, it's so interesting. They have like a scattered glitter throughout that just introduces glitter into an eyeshadow look where I was not seeking glitter. You know what I mean? So not my fave. The Shiseido, these are beautiful. The um, shimmering cream eye color. I don't believe that these are available anymore, but a truly beautiful eyeshadow formula. Oh, so sad. Uh, we've got the Pure Eye Polishes here. So another product that I've used in countless tutorials. I have so many good memories associated. This is like a wet eyeshadow formula and another glossy effect for the lid. Uh, I believe that those are still available. I've got some Moonshot here. This is a Korean brand um, and these products were an amazing kind of jelly texture, although they have really dried out and that's the problem with a lot of these kind of uh, cream eyeshadows is that they don't have a great shelf life like they kind of dry out quite quickly so it doesn't make sense to have a huge collection like I do here but let's look a little bit here to the the dr drugstore portion um, of my cream eyeshadows I have the Max Factor Excess Shimmer this is also similar to that kind of Tom Ford Charlotte Tilbury loose eyeshadow texture and they perform beautifully. Next, let us move on to the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This is a well-loved, iconic product, has been available for years and um, is worth the hype, I think. So we've got a whole bunch of colors. We've got the On and On Bronze, we've got Dusk Doll, Tough as Taupe. Let's do some swatches. This is On and On Bronze, Tough as Taupe. Dusk Doll, this is one of my favorite shades from the line. It's got that kind of fawny, taupey vibe. Next we have Groundbreaker, which is a purpled shade. This is Pomegranate Punk. This is Bad to the Bronze. And this one is Socialite, which is kind of a luminous, luminous pinky shade. So a bunch of really beautiful neutral tones here from Maybelline in a really awesome formula. This is not a loose cream eyeshadow. This is a more stiff cream eyeshadow. And it's kind of similar to something like the MAC Paint Pots, the, um, the Maybelline color tattoos. They're very long lasting, long wearing, um, and they come in both matte and shimmer shades. So the shades that I'm going to pick to keep in my stash Ah, Bad to the Bronze. I love that. It's got like a little bit more of a cool tone bronze as opposed to a really warm bronze. I'm always looking for that shade. I also love Dusk Doll. Such a unique tone from the drugstore. Um, and it seems to, it looks very natural and neutral in the eyes, but it's a little bit of a neutral twist. So I'm going to keep Dusk Doll. Should I keep Socialite? That's where I'm... That's where I'm stuck. You know what? I'm going to put Socialite in the one last chance pile. What do we got next? I loved the Chanel Illusion D'Ombre. This is um, long gone, this formula, but it was nostalgic. It's a nostalgic moment. I also have a little bit here from um, Armani, some Armani cream eyeshadows that didn't blow my socks off. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're done. So we continue here with cream eyeshadows, but now we're on cream eyeshadow sticks. Um, and we've got lots of iconic uh, eyeshadow sticks here by Terry, Laura Mercier. We've got drugstore, we've got high end, a little something for everyone. So let us first start with the by Terry. The by Terry uh, Ombre Black Stars are they have a cult following. They've been famous for years because they have an amazing luminosity and the reflect is really fine and multicolored and it gives this amazing shift on the eyes. By Terry really, I think, nails the cream eyeshadow game. I also think that these cream eyeshadows blend very well, um, which is very important. So I'm going to keep the shade Brown Perfection, which is a cool tone dark brown, not a warm tone brown. I often want to deepen my outer V with some cool dark brown and this is perfect for that purpose. I'm going to keep that guy, but what other colors shall I keep? I've got here Misty Rock, which is another one of By Terry's most well-known shades. This has an almost purpled 
oyster tone. And this is one of those shades that when put on the eyes, it reflects something amazing. Like it just gives the eyes the most wonderful sparkly quality. I'm gonna keep Misty Rock. Also Bronze Moon is another one of uh, By Terry's very famous shades. Uh, this is a multifaceted bronze, not too warm. Love that shade. Yeah, she likes, she likes her By Terry. <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? This one here is Immaculate Light. Uh, pretty, but I'm not sure it's super memorable. And this is Sunny Flash. Let's swatch this guy. This is Rose Elixir, soft pink. Look, I think really my favorite shades are the Bronze Moon, the Misty Rock, the Brown Perfection. The rest, I shall leave. Okay, uh, what other eyeshadow sticks we've got here? The Laura Mercier are another iconic eyeshadow stick. They've been around for years and years and they're very well loved. I like the Laura Mercier. I personally, this, this could be a uh, controversial thing to say, but I personally prefer the By Terry. It's just a matter of the texture and I prefer the way that they blend out. But certainly there are some Laura Mercier uh, shadow sticks that are gorgeous. Let us do a little swatchy swatchy. This is Amethyst. Rose gold. I think the Laura Mercier is a little bit more of a finer, uh, finer reflect, which gives sort of a more uh, homogeneous kind of shimmery layer, whereas the By Terry has a lot of different sized shimmers, which gives it a little bit more of a kind of glittery, multifaceted vibe. But if you like your um, if you like your shimmers to be very refined and no micro glitter, you actually might prefer the the Laura Mercier. Magnetic pink, intense moonlight. Yeah, see this definitely has like a stronger, almost glittery reflect, which is more reminiscent of the, um, the By Terry. This is Coco, quite similar to that By Terry. Don't need another one of those. Um, look, I think I actually might leave the, the Laura Mercier on, on this occasion. I, as I said, love them, fabulous formula. Just don't have enough eyes for all of this eyeshadow. The uh, Charlotte Tilbury Color Charmeleons. Charmeleon? Sounds like a, Is that a Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> Charmeleons. Uh, the Charlotte Tilbury C Color Chameleons. Uh, when these first released, I wasn't a massive fan of the formula, but a few of the shades that she's brought out since have really tickled my fancy, including the shade Black Smolder. So this is like a chubby black eyeshadow stick, and it's one that I often use on the outer corner to give my smoky eye proper depth. This really helps as a base if you want to build a smoky eye. Um, so I will be keeping the Black Smolder. I kind of like this one too in the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Cosmic Gold. No, someone else will enjoy that more than me. The Rimmel Magnifies. This was a wonderful formula, double-sided eyeshadow stick, discontinued. See, there you go. It's not terribly dissimilar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Wish you could still get those, but you can't. They're gone. Um, the same for the CoverGirl Flamed Out eyeshadow sticks. This was another fabulous drugstore product. Discontinued, no longer can find it. Can we just take a little bit of a moment for the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils? Makes me warm and fuzzy inside. The Mecha Max eyeshadow um, cream eyeshadow sticks are also wonderful. They have a lot of different shades. I found that these uh, blended really well. Not sure that they blew my socks off and that I need to keep um, keep them today, but certainly a lovely product. I have here the ColourPop color sticks. These actually really impressed me. I very much enjoyed the tones that they brought out and also I found that the formula was very easy to work with and very easy to buff away. Sometimes cream eyeshadow sticks can be a little bit choppy, uh, but these I found to be very smooth. So ColourPop has some more matte shades, as you can see, really soft and buttery and blend out really nicely. They also have some more uh, shimmery shades here. I also like that they came in a mini size. I love a mini product. It's actually quite difficult for me to go through an entire eyeshadow stick, so having a mini option is really nice. And I know a lot of you guys agree with me on the mini front. Um, so yeah, a really beautiful formula. I am going to keep uh, this shade here which is 
Just a warm toned putty tone. I love to use this to begin an eye look and it really helps all the other eyeshadows adhere very well. But it's not a very strong color, so it's very easy to wear. You can even use it alone. I'm gonna keep that shade there. The Revlon Velour Sticks. These are sick. This is a formula that really is reminiscent of a high-end formula with a drugstore price tag. The um, eyeshadow stick is soft like butter and so incredibly pigmented, really blend out beautifully. I wish they had a better shade range to be honest because the shades are all kind of like this shade here, I love it, but it's very dark, you know, truffle. I'm gonna keep truffle. The shade Sierra is beautiful formula again, but this color is not something really that I wear a whole ton. So I'll be keeping the truffle, but leaving the rest. The Revlon also do a color stay glaze, which is a reflective uh, eyeshadow in a similar formula. They're nice, but they're not as, uh, not a standout to me like the matte. We have some Kiko eyeshadow sticks here. Also a very solid uh, formula, really performs very well, pigmented. I don't know that I have a whole use for all these rainbow shades right now, but absolutely if that's your vibe check out Kiko also the um, Clio I've got some uh, Korean brands here let me tell you I have enjoyed so many of these eyeshadow pencils it's just a matter of narrowing it down which is very difficult for me as a makeup makeup enthusiast but I think I think I can walk away <laughs> We continue with the cream eyeshadow mission. Now we're on to cream eyeshadows of the kind of liquid variety. So a lot of doe foot kind of style eyeshadows. Let us start first with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. <laughs> Gets me every time that tongue twister. So on one side they have a, a matte shade and on the other side there's a shimmery shade. Truthfully, I am most interested in the matte side of these little sticks. I think that this is Huda Beauty's, one of Huda Beauty's best products. And she has many, um, but this one I think is a real standout. These eyeshadows are opaque. They um, blend out really easily. They don't set so fast that it's difficult to work with, but they set fast enough that the eyeshadow doesn't spread too far. Um, the, the shimmer shades are nice um, and they, they're highly reflective, but usually I'm just using these um, as a as an eyeshadow base really so I'm going to keep faux fur I like to use this one just as a, like a very neutral base for eyeshadow I'm going to keep cashmere robe which is another kind of more neutral tone but this one is a little bit more of a cool tone taupe just a really easy everyday shade with a lovely topper to go with it. Ooh, 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 excited to use that guy. And she does a lot of amazing um, like bright colors as well, like this teal. Ooh, I've used the pink one actually before. Bubblegum, an amazing shade. This is Bubble Bath, so more pink. I'll put Bubble Bath in one last chance pile. Another really great neutral shade is our Double Pump Latte. This is a little bit more of tan toned double pump latte, a little bit more warm. I'm gonna pop that one also in one last chance. Private Jet is another really interesting color. This is almost like a, a coral. It's like a muted coral tone. Mm. Let's swatch this one here, Cinnamon Toast. Yeah, I think despite the fact that I love love this formula, I just don't need it in every shade and I think those shades I'm gonna get really great wear out of. Another standout here on the table are the Rimmel Wonder Cloud. So this is quite different to the Huda Beauty in that it's more of a sheer type of liquid eyeshadow. So this is the type of product that you just like pop, pop it all over the lid in the morning and blend it out with a finger. You don't even need a brush to blend out this product. It's not uh, completely opaque. It's not meant for that. It's more of just like a really light wash and for that purpose I really enjoy it. I'm going to keep all three shades actually. Love that one. The one size eye poppers. This really caught my eye because it has this very coarse glitter that I thought would be wonderful as an eyeshadow topper and I like the idea but every time I've worn these products it made my eyeshadow feel really quite choppy and unblended. I just couldn't quite get on board with the texture. 
um, so not my favorite glitter product. I also have a whole bunch of the Stila liquid eyeshadows. So you have here the Glitter and Glow, which is a very shimmery type of liquid eyeshadow. And then you have the Suede Shade, which is a more matte type. To be honest, I found these eyeshadows to be really prone to drying out very fast. Um, a lot of these beautiful, uh, sparkly glittery shades that we've got here are just unusable at this stage yeah it's a pity because these are so pretty but they just dried out too far so i'm i'm not going to keep any of those i recently purchased the uh, lisa eldridge liquid lyrics in quite a number of shades i'm not sure how i feel about these to be honest um i wasn't totally blown away by the shades um, I found that uh, Zoya, which is this beautiful guy, I took it to Europe, Zoya had the tendency to uh, flake as the day went on. So there was a little bit of kind of flaking into my under eye area, which was making my under eye area look not so fresh. Um, but I do have, I had really high hopes for these liquid eyeshadows. So I'm gonna pop all of these shades in the one last chance pile. Look, I'm sure you guys could find better swatches of these on Google, but here I am trying for you guys in case you wanted to see some swatches. One more thing that I wanted to, to hit on while we're here. Oh, Rouge Bunny Rouge, these liquid eyeshadows. I love them for years. I think that they're, they're gone now. I do enjoy the Armani eye tints. So these have been repackaged, I believe, into a smaller, smaller package. I liked them, but I didn't love them. I found that these formula spreaded really uh, really readily to the point where I would put it on my lash line and I'd blend it out, it would be out to my temples. It just moved a little bit too much um, for my liking. So I will be leaving those. These were fun. These Dior Addict Fluid Shadows. Used them in a few tutorials, loved it. I think that's it guys. The rest has got to go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss the future episodes of the Declutter series. Also, if you'd like to see a little bit more of my face, you can come say hello on Instagram at Karima McKimmy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.